Hey guys, this is Shooky J, and uh, today, um, well, first off, you probably noticed something new about my videos, and that is that um, I have a Mac. Well, kind of. Uh, the catch is, um, it's not really a Mac, but this is I, what I found to be the closest thing possible to be, um, this is the closest possible thing you can get other than getting the real Mac software. So, as you can see, there's a couple of things that may give it away that it's really not a Mac, but, um, if you just took a quick glance at it, you'd say, oh yeah, that's a Mac. But, um, the toolbar up here, whatever you want to call it, is really not like that, um, it's not that thick. It's just a slim little thing. But this is the regular size toolbar. And you would just have, um, you the time right here. Mac does not have the time like that. And, um, Mac does also not have these icons, nor does it have this. I believe it has, um, this, which is, uh, a makeshift start menu. Well, it is a start menu, it's just a, uh, different, uh, what do you call it? Icon. So, um, I showed you guys, like, the basic gist of it like you get what it really is I'm just gonna open like my computer um it does modify your DLL settings which means it allows it to uh, modify this stuff over here and um it allows it to change all these icons and change your computer icon to this Mac thing right here and uh, it also changes these icons as well so um, that is one of the things that if you're like new to this and you don't trust it, I don't blame you. I was kind of like risky about it myself, but turned out great. I, you just do have to restart after. So enough blabbing on about it. Let's actually show you how to do this. Okay, so um, I'm going to do that later. Um first off you have um, to uh, go to the website which is Custopack Custopack tools customize Windows XP Vista and 7 and uh, what you basically have to do is um, you have to download the Custopack thing first and then you can go to the gallery. Now there is a variety of um, different uh, yeah there's a variety of different things and uh, I don't understand why nothing is coming up but um, okay so there's Mac OS X Lion there's whatever that is there's I don't even know what that is. There's just a bunch of things. And, uh, obviously, uh, it's OS X Line Inspirit. Or, Inspirit. I don't know how to pronounce it, but. Uh, that is how you do it. And you would just click, uh, download. And it takes you through the installation and whatnot. And, uh, I did have to custom do whatever the background because uh, default it is set to a blue mountain and I also did have to add these icons right here and all of these icons but these these and these are already there and uh, I had to put in an extra divider but other than that I'm impressed um, I mean, it's gonna look kind of unrealistic when you have programs open and it shows up here, but, um, not really much you can do about that. So, um, I don't know, um, just, I'll keep you posted if there's any bugs, if it makes my computer crash, but it actually does change the login screen, all the system sounds, 
like when you log in it does that Mac logo like sound thing and the login screen is all I think I already said that but the login screen is like Mac style it's like a gray thing with an Apple logo up there and you have your user account and stuff so I think it's kinda interesting it's good for starters but if you're really um, an expert at this I wouldn't really consider myself an expert so I wouldn't take my chances but um, I can p I consider myself kinda good at this so I was able to do this even a, uh, somebody with no experience whatsoever could probably do this but um, there's a few tweaks that will make your experience better that are not um, mandatory but uh, they're just optional little things but um, I'm probably boring you to death with information and talking and just like showing you this so uh, until next time bye